I want to show you how to dramatically reduce your cortisol stress with ashwagandha. Now, what is ashwagandha? It's an herb that's been used for 6,000 years. And so it's been around a long time and has stood the test of time with minimal side effects, which I want to get into some of the side effects that are on social media related to it. I, I will get to that, but I want to just tell you the benefits first. It is hands down one of the best adaptogens or herbs that help you cope with stress as well as depression. It has been shown to increase stamina, especially with endurance when you're exercising. There's been a study with uh, favorable results. And the hormone cortisol, with the stress hormone, which is reduced with ashwagandha, is probably the reason why it's helping shrink fibroids because it lowers cortisol. Ashwagandha also has anti-inflammatory properties. Now, here's the question. Cortisol is typically an anti-inflammatory hormone. So if we're reducing this anti-inflammatory hormone, why would you have more benefit from ashwagandha as an anti-inflammatory? You would think a person with high cortisol would not have inflammation because all that high cortisol is an anti-inflammatory. But the confusion lies in the difference between acute stress and chronic stress because when you're chronically stressed, you have this high elevated amount of cortisol, very similar to when you have high levels of insulin. You develop cortisol resistance, just like you would with insulin, insulin resistance. And cortisol resistance is a situation where you have high levels of cortisol, but the cortisol is not um, activated, penetrated into the cell. So we don't really get the benefits of cortisol. We, we get the opposite sometimes. And so with a lack of cortisol, you'll tend to have more inflammation. So probably what ashwagandha is doing is making cortisol more sensitive. And so now the feedback loop can connect and the, and the body doesn't have to produce so much more cortisol anymore. It can, it can be lowered. This is why ashwagandha is also good for the immune system and cognitive benefits to improve um, situations like Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, things like that. And there's also some benefits that it can help lower blood sugars. Now, why would it do that? Because stress activates the release of more sugar. Anytime you're in stress mode, the body uh, will start burning more sugar, okay? So just realize, even though your diet is sugar-free, you're actually living on sugar when you're going through chronic stress. So in one study uh, that showed significant decreases in cortisol, which is a comparison between 27.9% decrease and 7.9% decrease in cortisol with the placebo control group. And so this is based on a randomized, uh, double-blinded placebo control study, which I'll put a link down below. So they showed significant decrease in cortisol with minimal side effects. Now you have to realize that any natural thing out there that works is gonna be attacked by probably big pharma. And so you'll see that um, ashwagandha is having more and more side effects. People are feeling dizzy or lightheadedness or too mellow, like emotionless, right? And so we, we better beware because these natural remedies are not FDA approved. Like that really means anything to me. First of all, the committees that approve these drugs have a lot of conflict of interest. And secondly, I mean, just watch a commercial, right? With the massive amount of side effects that occur with medication. And, and they'll tell you, you know, may cause death, vomiting, yet people keep taking them, but they're FDA approved. Do you have many medications that are taken off the market after they're FDA approved? And then we're going to be hesitant about taking some natural thing that has minimum side effects? I mean, I just want to tell you a quick story. A lady reached out to me. Uh, she wanted some help. Uh, she had a lot of problems after her gallbladder was removed. And um, they put her on, I think, starting out with 17 different drugs, okay? I think she's down to 14 drugs right now. But she's in her 40s, 14 different medications. And she wants help because she keeps experiencing problems with loss of memory and digestive problems. And so they keep sending her to another specialist, another specialist, going round and round and round. And I looked up what these medications are, and then I cross-referenced them to all the side effects that they create. And many of those side effects produce symptoms that she's on medication to try to relieve. I can get in trouble if I tell people to come off medication. But I basically told her that she needs to have a serious talk with her doctor and uh, show the doctor all the interactions and all the side effects. And does she really need these medications? How the heck could anyone ever create health when they take poisons? I'm sorry, medications. I mean, I really think she needs to do a reset 
you know, and see what causes what and only take those medications that are absolutely necessary. But I will say all those medications are FDA approved. So anyway, I got sidetracked. Let's talk about the dosage of ashwagandha. If you're doing strengthening type exercises or endurance type exercises, I would recommend taking uh, roughly about 300 milligrams twice a day, you know, in the morning and before you go to bed. And also you might want to take it for a period of time and then come off of it for a while and just see how you feel um, because it's for stress and it's very powerful. And maybe you might not need it once you really change your lifestyle and get rid of some of the stress. But the point is you want to use these things as tools, take them as needed. They're not meant to be on for the rest of your life. But if you don't exercise, you're a bit sedentary. Um, you probably only need like 100 milligrams once a day. So if you wanted something that could potentially dramatically lower your cortisol levels, uh, definitely look at this ashwagandha herb. It's been around for a long time. Also, since we're on the topic of stress, if you have not seen this video on stress, which shows you a manual technique to get rid of stress, you really need to check that out. I put it up right here.